Dr. Erik van Kutsum, one of the two chairmen of the World Congress on Gastrointestinal Cancer, is willing to answer a few questions. Can you tell us what makes this meeting special as compared to other meetings in the field? Well, this meeting uh, focuses on different aspects. Uh, it focuses on all different aspects of GI cancer. Um, it's an educational meeting, uh, but also we have new scientific data always presented and there is a mixture of educational and abstract presentations. Uh, we try to focus to give messages for clinicians, but also for people involved in clinical and translation research. Um, and also the timing of the meeting is a few weeks after the ASCO meeting where there are a lot of data being presented. Um, and here we have some updates, although it's only a few weeks, we have some new data. But also the, all the worldwide experts uh, do attend uh, in the faculty um, and there is a lot of interaction. And the data have been able to mature so that the experts can discuss amongst themselves, give clear messages, what is the significance of the data uh, for the practicing oncologist and, and clinician. It's not only medical oncologists, it's also different uh, physicians with a specific interest in, uh, in GI cancer. Um, so the interaction, education, new data, um, and that focused also to some practical aspects um, in a meeting that is still to a human size, uh, that is big but not too big. Uh, that, that's uh, one of the other aspects and reasons why people like the meeting and that makes it special. Can you tell us if there is any special focus for this year's meeting? Well, the focus in GI cancer, like in many aspects in oncology, is, uh, is, uh, is multidisciplinarity is a selection of patients um, and and the progress that we can uh, that we can have through that uh, selection with molecular markers um, and then also data updates with new drugs uh, for instance uh, the data on gastric cancer with ramucirimab um, there are some data maintenance with colorectal cancer um, uh, that are being presented so it covers the wide variety of aspects and it's not specific one uh, aspect uh, but the multidisciplinarity um, quality of care um, and then personalized care that sets a red wire through uh, the different aspects in the meeting. Okay. Are there any specific goals for the future? For the future, the plan is to, to continue uh, with, uh, with an excellent collaboration with the different societies, with ESMO and some other societies, uh, to have a good educational aspect. Uh, I talk a lot with physicians attending and with, uh, with everybody attending um, on uh, when they tell me uh, uh, that the meeting was good. I try to ask them, yeah, but what can we improve? So to try to feel what people want. Um, but uh, on the education aspect and of course in the future we will have to integrate more and more translational data. That's why also we had here several keynote lectures uh, explaining some of the pathways like the CMET pathway, uh, some other uh, translation research aspects and that's clearly the way we want, uh, we will continue. Okay. Is there anything else that you would like to share with the followers of SHARE at Congress? Well, um, the, the the important aspect is that, um, on top of what I said already, is that interaction is possible. The, the meeting is still at human size. Um, we have some, um, the majority of the sessions are not in parallel, but in the morning also people have the opportunity in different smaller breakout sessions, uh, for those who wake up early, um, uh, to have interaction in meet the professor, meet the expert session, so that they can have interaction and that's, uh, that's an important aspect. We have also keypad systems so that people can try to have some interactions, there were some questions also uh, raised, uh, so that are some of the important aspects. Thank you.